Right, hello, so today I'm starting a series, and in this series I'm trying to teach you how to make a Roblox game. Just everything you need to know to make a front page Roblox game. Now, first of all, one thing you need to understand before you start anything is realistically, you're not going to learn scripting fast. It's going to take you time and it's going to take you effort. Although, although, it is very much worth it. So, if you want to learn Roblox scripting, if you watch all of this series, videos are probably going to be coming out quite often, if you watch all of this series, you should be able to learn how to script on Roblox completely fully, to the point where you can make a front page game. So, today, this is the first episode, I'm going to teach you how properties work, and I'm going to teach you how to install Roblox Studio. So, the first thing, obviously, is you need Roblox Studio, because you can't really do anything without it. So, if you go to roblox.com, flash develop, take you here, and then you can click create new experience or start developing and it'll say check for Roblox Studio and then you get an option to download Studio click that, go through the installer, it'll take two minutes and then open Roblox Studio and you should be here if you're not here, you might be in recent all my games, click new and then we're going to make a classic base plate alright so now we've got a classic base plate we're going to do the first thing everyone should do so we're going to insert a part so if you go to the top here, under the home tab you should have part, click on it and it'll insert a part into the workspace if you press F, it'll bring you closer to the part, and we're going to change some of the properties of this part. So, what we're going to do is first of all look at what properties are. So, if you don't have this properties tab open, it might be down here, it might be anywhere on your screen, but there should be a tab somewhere called properties. Now, if you don't have this, if you go to the view tab at the top of your screen, and click on the explorer and the properties tab to bring up both of these. So, once you've got both of these open, if you click back on your part, under properties, you'll see all of these different things that we can change. So, I'm going to run through each of these and tell you what they are. So, first of all, at the top we've got brick colour. There's lots of different brick colours here. They're basically just set colours from Roblox that you can change any the colour of any part to. So, we can change the colour of this part to cyan. And then cast shadow. So, what cast shadow means is, is it casting a shadow? So, as you can see here, if I turn cast shadow off, all of a sudden there's no shadows coming from the part. And if I turn it back on, there are shadows. Alright, so next we've got colour. So, the colours, it can take an RGB value, or it can take an HSV value. And, but you can open it, and you can drag between any possible colour. And you can change the, you know, change the saturation, you can change the hue, you can change the brightness of the colour. And then, so you can change whatever colour you want. And then under material, there's lots of different materials. So we've got things like asphalt, and then we've got brick, basalt, you know, every everything you might need. Slate, smooth plastic. However, you might find that this isn't good enough for you. So you can insert uh, different, you can use uh, textures that aren't from Roblox, but you know, that, that's quite difficult. So I'm going to teach you about that today. Material variant, you can just ignore. Reflectance, change how reflective something is. Change it to zero, change it to nine, change it to 10. But it literally just changes how reflective something is. So, that's very, fairly simple. And under transparency, which is how transparent the part is, fairly obvious. There you go, 0.5 transparent, half transparent. And then if we look at here, locked. So if you click off the part and it's locked, you won't be able to click it. But you can click it in workspace still here. So if you, I recommend keeping locked off because it actually means you can click things. So, his name. So you change the name of the part. So if you, you call it My Cool Part. Uh, in Explorer, you'll see it's changed the name to my cool part and then parent so parents whatever it's just like under so uh for example my cool part here is a child of workspace workspace is the parent of my cool part if i put my cool part in work in the base plate then the base plate is the parent of my cool part and my cool part is the child of base plate so hopefully that makes sense and then if we go down to size which is again pretty self-explanatory change it four comma one comma four that makes it into a square uh four comma four comma four We'll make it equal on all sides so it's a cube uh, change, you can change that however you like i think the maximum is 2048 studs wide and then position where, where it's placed in the world so you can move it back and forth you see the position value changing here and then orientation is the rotation of the part so if i move it around you'll see the orientation changing it works on all x y and z axes same goes with the size and the position and then if we go down to these under collision, you'll find can collide, which is if plays another object, you can touch it or can collide with it. Then can touch 
is if they can touch it. So even if it's non cankerized you can still have scripts inside of it that detect when someone's touches it. And then anchored. And anchored defines whether it's like going to fall out of the sky or if it's going to stay exactly where it is. And then custom physical properties, you can ignore this. Massless makes it massless. Uh, shape, you can change the shape. So it could be a ball or it could be a ball. It could be a block or it could be a cylinder. And then you can ignore this. So there you go. Those are all those are all the basic basic properties you need to know uh, for making a game. Uh, and then we're gonna, so now we're going to have a look at some of them. So first of all, I'm going to show you what anchored is. So if we've got anchor set to false, so we move this part into the sky. And then if we go to the home tab and run the game, you'll see this part falls out of the sky. Now that's because it's not anchored. But if I change the part to anchored while I'm still playing the game, and I move the part up, you'll see it doesn't fall. Now that's because the part's anchored. But if the part's not anchored, again, it just falls out of the sky. So, next we're going to look at can collide. Now, can collide whether it touches other parts or not, or players. Turn that off and then make it fall out of the sky. You'll see it falls straight through the base plate because it's non cancolide right okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to make a basic script now all we're going to be doing is show, uh, today is showing you how scripts work so first of all if you open the view tab here at the top and click on this output window here right and now if we go to server script service and click on the plus and then click script to insert a script now we don't have to worry about renaming this or anything, we're not going to do anything in the script, we're just going to leave it as it is, printing hello world, and we're going to run it. So now, as you can see, somewhere here, there you go, server, in the script, on line 1, it says hello world. So, what that's doing, is in this script, it's saying print hello world to this output tab here. Now that's basically as simple as scripting gets, it really doesn't get any more simple than that, but for today, that's, all, that's literally all I'm going to be showing you. It, it does get a lot more complicated, but it is fairly easy to understand. So, that's that's the basics of Roblox Studio. In the next video, I'll be going over how to change properties in scripts. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, like, subscribe, I guess. Uh, and thank you for watching, and goodbye.